This is the first year that the St. George Area Chamber of Commerce Community Action Committee has taken a full-fledged stance on all the ballot issues. The, the Community Action Committee of the Chamber of Commerce is in place to look at community issues that affect business and in some cases to take positions in a certain direction so that we can help shape how our community functions so that businesses can grow healthfully here. There are just over 1,000 chamber business members in the St. George area. Most consist of nine or fewer employees. And there are things that, that strike pretty near and dear to our hearts and in some cases to our pocketbooks and into, uh, they, they have a profound influence on our day-to-day -day lives. With three constitutional amendments, four propositions and a school bond vote, the committee felt it was necessary to give their business members guidance on their collective positions. Chamber members received a newsletter on the positions of the ballot issues via email. The propositions are among the most heavily debated. So the state has four propositions on the ballot and the chamber encourages citizens to vote no on all four. The first is a gas tax increase that would go to help pay for education, which we believe is convoluted. You should ask directly for what you want and not have something that's traditionally be, been used to improve roads for those who use them to now include something else. So vote no on Prop 1. Prop 2 is the marijuana issue. We believe it needs more structure. Well, we have a lot of compassion for families who do have need. Uh, that bill in itself needs some work and some structure attached to it. Vote no on Prop 2. On Prop 3, that is the, the expansion of Medicaid and Prop, Prop 3, we believe needs to be looked at more closely by the legislature. On Prop 4, we do not believe that at what is viewed as an independent board would not be partisan. We believe that the best way to work through districting is through those who are elected to represent us. The CAC recommends a yes vote on the Washington County school bond. And there's a case to be made as the fastest growing community in the United States that we need those dollars to help fund our school children facilities for them and renovations and safety and other ways in the existing schools. So vote yes on, on the school district bond. Because the chamber is a private entity, it does not have to follow rules or guidelines like government officials. A letter sent to public employees and state government officials warns them of taking a public stance, using public funds for political purposes to influence ballot positions. The letter states that any person who violates this code section could result in civil fines up to $250 for the first offense. Business owners say sometimes it's hard to decipher the direct impact by studying a voter pamphlet on a ballot issue. You're given an explanation and sometimes that language is kind of heavy and it gives you something to think about, but what we're really trying to do is get into the nitty gritty part of, okay, what's the end impact? Draper believes better decisions are made when people voice their opinions as a democracy. And then those small business people can look at the chamber's homework, if you will. They, they can still obviously draw their own conclusions and we just want people to vote, get out there and, and cast their vote. But we do try to look out for the interests of our membership. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.